The nature of professional rugby these days and the, the strict regime that you have on a day-to-day -day basis, first and foremost, you've got to enjoy it. If you, if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to succeed at it. And um, you, know, you want to rock up to work every morning and, and, and look forward to it. And that's the only way you're going to, you're going to have any kind of longevity in the game and, and really uh, make the most of it. Well, I've been lucky that I haven't picked up major bangs or knocks, but I think that's down to the position I've played, more so down to any personal luck on my own. If you're willing to put your head between two bums and push, you know, that's why you that's the job spec like, you know, it's not all that glamorous, but it's it's physical and it, it's always an attritional battle. You can say over 19 years it's involved an awful lot and you know, you look back at games of 10 years ago and you're nearly embarrassed that you thought that was physicality when it wasn't at all. I look back at old training programs and you burst out laughing that you thought that was effective or that, that that was of any use. I remember when we started first, we were doing 3K runs, 5K runs. Everyone thought they were doing the right thing, but um, you know, I think some of those sessions were character building and they probably give you an edge in another way that give you that bit of steel that you never break. For me, at the stage of my career I find myself now, it's, you know, the more I do, the better I feel. I think, you know, on days off, you know, whether it be a Wednesday or a Sunday, the day after a game, you're in the gym, you're in the pool, you're just keeping moving. And um, for me, that works best and, you know, it gets me in the best possible shape for the, for the next day. For us, the tool in which we use to perform our sport and, and provide our livelihood is our, is our body. So looking after it is absolutely vital. And I think when you're younger, you get away with cutting a few corners. But if you're absolutely uh, diligent in every way you address and look after your, yourself and, and you're a good pro, you, you'll get an awful lot out of it. You know, I suppose I've always said that as long as I, you know, I feel fit and, and I'm motivated to play the game, then I'll keep going. You know, I still feel uh, in good shape and, um, you know, I still get that buzz every time I run out on the pitch. So, um, you know, as long as I keep doing the right things in my preparation, then um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It wouldn't change a whole pile. It's enjoying those wins and enjoying the, the victories. I think you know sometimes you get caught up in, you know, if you've if you've a, if a good performance and you have a great win, you know, you tend to kind of you know focus on the following week. But you know, I think it's really important to enjoy those moments, you know, with your teammates. I was in a, a dressing room with Dennis Leamy, and we just won a, a grand slam with Ireland. And I, I remember about 20 minutes after the game, I just tapped him and I said, we gotta, we got to back this up next year. And I, I promise you, he just punched me straight away and just go away, you know what I mean? He didn't want to hear it. For him, it was to absolutely enjoy this moment and not take any more out of it, whereas I was looking at next job and how we're going to back it up. And, and I wish I could go back and go, Dunners, if your jocks ever do rip, just go off. Just say, man, walk off, leave it go. You know, there's one of the embarrassing moments that just won't go away. I think when you're sitting down watching internationals on TV, you know, you still, you'd love to be out there and, you know, just chatting to Dunica since I've arrived here. We watched a few um, Lions games over the summer and the Ireland tests and thinking of those weekends when you get to, to play in, in an international. And, and they're pretty special, you know, those international weekends, you can't beat them. Take caps and honours and medals out of it. The main thing you take is relationships. Guys like Strings, you know, Paulie, guys that you're able to forge a relationship with and uh, make real bonds. And I suppose that's something, I know we're lucky to get paid to do our job, but that's the real beauty of rugby, I think. You get to really see the true value of a person, their character. I think it's revealed on pitches and that leads to bonds that you'll have forever.